Greetings from Carbon Lee High Intermediate Unit. My name is Eric Leck. I'm the Director of Curriculum and Instruction and Educational Technologies. And I'm here today to present some Canvas LMS tips and tricks. Today, we're going to focus on embedding content using HTML code. In our Canvas courses, there are many ways to present content to our students. As we create and build pages, we may find that we want to have students go directly to specific websites to access content, or we might find that we want to bring that content directly to our students. As you'll see in the two examples I have, we're going to be looking at how you can change the experience for students as they are working simply by changing the way that we insert content for students to see. So in this first example, I have a set of vocabulary that I want my students to review, to practice with, and have ready for a quiz later in the unit. You can see on this page that I've provided some crucial context for those students, giving them instructions and purpose for the content that they are about to see. And then I give them a direct link to take them to that content. Notice they leave their Canvas classroom to jump to this content. When I relate this to the idea of my live face-to-face -face classroom, this is sort of like telling my students that there is a book in the library, but they're going to have to leave my classroom to get that book. I'd rather keep that book in the, in the classroom and allow them to access it right there if I know that they're going to need it. So my next example, I use that same vocabulary list, except I embed it directly on the page. Now the students don't need to leave the classroom. They still get the context. They still get the uh, information, the purpose and instructions, but the content now is embedded directly on their course page. Now, how do we do this? Pretty simple task. We can do this using some HTML code. It may sound a little bit technical, but believe me, this is a pretty easy task. I'm using the example of Quizlet, a very popular vocabulary practice tool that provides flashcards and other games, because this tool does not have an LTI in Canvas where we can simply select it and embed it. So we do need to use that background code. I've set up a blank page where we can embed this new content so I can show you. Of course, when we start the page, we wanna make sure that we provide all the context that students might need. That is a crucial element to providing digital content to students. Now, I am gonna type the word vocab in all caps, and there's a purpose for that, and I'll show you in just a minute. So I'm gonna to go to Quizlet, where I have my different vocabulary sets, and if you need help with Quizlet, don't worry, we have a video to help you set up a Quizlet account. I'm gonna to go to this vocabulary set. Now, I brought it to the flashcard page, and you'll see here underneath the flashcards, there is a three dot menu, this more menu, where I can select to embed content. You see here the word embed. So I select that, and I can decide what mode I wanna put this on. I'm gonna put it on flashcard mode, and it gives me this set of code. So I'm gonna copy that code so I have it. And now I'm gonna move back to my Canvas course, and I can't just paste it here on the page in the editor. I have to look behind the editor in the HTML code. Down here in the bottom right, there is a set of sideways brackets that'll take me to that HTML code where I can now replace the word vocab and paste that code. Once I've pasted the code, I can click on those brackets in the lower right-hand corner and there they are on the page. Now they are embedded. Save and publish, and it's ready for my students. So hopefully you found this tip helpful, and it provides you with some new ways to embed content and keep students right in your Canvas classroom. Reach out to us at CLIU21 if you do have additional questions on Canvas. Have a great day.